This video walks you through how to install BB toolsets in recent versions of Bluebeam Review. I'm using Bluebeam Review 21 complete, but these instructions also work for other recent versions of the software. You can purchase all of the tools seen here by going to bbtoolsets.com. First, you can use the link that you received by email or you can go to bbtoolsets.com and download the file by clicking on customer login. Enter your username and password, log in, and that will take you to the dashboard where you can download the zip file. Now that we have the file downloaded, let's unpack the zip file by right clicking and selecting extract all. You can click extract and now you'll have a new folder with all of the files and it automatically opens the folder. Inside this folder, you have the installation instructions PDF that you can follow, as well as your personal license. In addition, there are six folders that each contain the tool sets that we're about to install. Now I'm gonna flip back to Bluebeam Review and you can see here we have a fresh install no tool sets installed. These are the default tool sets that come with Bluebeam. There are a couple of ways that we can install the tool sets. I flip back to the folder that concludes them. Let's start with tool sets. And the easiest way to install is to just double click any of these tool sets. And you can see it says successfully imported and those accessibility tools now show up over here. Another way to install them is to select the ones that you'd like. In this case, I'll select all but the last one and drag them into the Bluebeam window. And you'll see they come in one by one. So now we have all of the tool sets installed except for one. And I go back to the window here. So we've installed all except for the final scaled RCP red. The third way to install tools is to do it from the tool chest drop down menu under manage tool sets. The dialog box will pop up and you can select import. You can navigate to the location where the tool set resides, select it and click open. And now you will see that RCP Red is installed. You can also use the Manage Tool Sets dialog box to reorganize and hide some tools. So for instance, let's get rid of the default tools that come with Review. We're not gonna use those. And let's move my tools, let's move my tools down to the bottom by clicking the down arrow until it's all the way at the bottom. And recent tools, we can also move down all the way to the bottom by clicking down. So now you see that we have all of our Bluebeam tool sets installed. So I can click okay here. And now you can see we have all of the Bluebeam tool sets installed. And then down at the bottom are the two default My Tools and Recent Tools toolbars. Using the tool sets is easy. Let's start a new document under File, New PDF. Go Landscape Mode, open up this new file. And now you see we have a blank page. So you can select the tool you'd like to insert and drop it in. So that's there and you can use all the same symbol modification tools you're used to in terms of rotate, in terms of scaling, if necessary. And you can also just double click the text and edit that as you see fit. The scale tool sets are indicated with a triangle in the menu bar. These are only available in Review 2015 or later. 
when you select to insert one of these tools, I'm going to do a scaled figure and I bring it into the sheet and I click, it's going to ask me which scale I want to drop this in at. So I'll select a scale and say quarter inch equals a foot that will set the scale for this page and drop in the scaled figure. Now I can also come over to the measurements tab and I can change the scale of this to be half of an inch equals a foot. I can flip back to the tool sets. I can take the same scale figure and now you'll see that scaled figure comes in twice as big. So that's how you use the scaled symbols based on the scale of the sheet you're working on. Next, let's install the line styles. Again, there are multiple ways to install them. I'm going to back up to the main folder, select line styles. You can double click this file or you could drag it into Bluebeam like so. Successfully imported the line style. Another way to do it would be to select a line tool. You can draw a line and you'll see up here at the drop down dialog box for line style, you can click manage. And again here, you can import the line style by navigating and selecting open. You can also adjust the line styles to make some of them visible or to hide them. So if you want the standard built in or the advanced, you can hide those. I'm going to move the BB tool sets line styles to the top. Now we have a line and you can change to one of the BB tool sets line types, which are now at the top of the list by simply selecting them. As you can see, this brings in the one hour rated smoke line type, and you can change the scale of that line and the text in it by increasing the point size of that line. The line types will also work with polylines or other shapes. So for instance, we can take this line, select the drop down, and this can be a waterproofing line. And we can change this to bad insulation and adjust the scale of that insulation. Next, let's install the hatch patterns. And just like the line styles, you can either double click this or drag it into Bluebeam. It will successfully import. Now let's draw a new shape for our hatch. So we can come up to the drop down dialog for the hatch pattern and click manage. And just like before, you can import to the architectural hatch patterns. Click OK. Now we can select any of our hatch patterns that we've installed. So CMU elevation, for instance, gets installed and those can be adjusted by scale. So you can change the scale of that CMU and you can also change the color. Submittal stamps are installed differently. Since they're just PDF files, if you were to double click them, they will simply open in the Bluebeam review. Instead, we have to go to the Tools menu, hover over Stamp, and then down at the bottom, you can select Import Stamp. We'll navigate back to the Submittal Stamps folder, select all of the stamps you want to import, and click Open. Now that those are installed successfully, you can go up to Tools, Stamp, select the stamp you want, draw a box, and you'll see that the date and the reviewed by name are automatically inserted for you. Fortunately, we don't want to say default, and this name is set by the review settings. So come up to review preferences, change the username to whatever you'd like, click OK. Now when you do tools, stamp, and insert that stamp, you will see that it comes in with the correct name. 
Editing stamps to customize them for your needs is pretty easy as well. We recommend that you make a copy of this file. So I'll just say copy and then paste. And now you'll see that this is a copy. You can open that file. Now you can change this language to read whatever needs to read for your office. So get rid of that. Don't change any of these variables down here because these are what brings in the reviewed by and the date automatically. Now that we've finished editing that the way we'd like, we can hit save. And remember, this is the copy. So now we'll come to tools, stamp, import stamp. We can select the copy. So now that's imported and we go to stamp this is the copy, and you'll see that this language is different. Once these stamps are inserted, you can resize them as needed, move them around, and do whatever you need to do for your submission. And then of course, when you're ready, you can simply flatten those. Sketch title blocks are installed similarly to the stamps. Likewise, these are just PDFs, so if you double click, you're gonna to open to edit them. Instead, go to the File menu, New PDF from Template, Import Template. We'll click into the Title Blocks folder. And since I'm based in the United States, I'll select the Letter and Tabloid versions and click Open. Now those are installed as templates. So now if I wanted to create a new sketch, I can go new PDF from template and I can select letter landscape. And now it will open up a new landscape ASK file. Editing these just like with the tools, you can just double click the text. So for instance, if your office number sketches differently, you can do A123 and you can change your initials and check by initials and edit any of this text that is necessary. Likewise, you can also edit these templates to be however you like by opening the file. We obviously recommend doing a save as, but you can come in and change any of the terminology in any of these and do a save as and import it and you'll have that new template. Finally, we have the profile. Before installing the profile, it's important that you save your workspace, especially if you already have it set up the way you like. To do that, go to the review menu, hover over profiles and select manage profiles. Select add, I'll just call this 2022. And now this profile is saved and you can always go back to it. Next, click the Import button, navigate to the Profile folder, and select the BB Toolsets Profile. Now that imports the BB Toolsets Profile. Currently active is Review, so we can select this and select OK, and it's going to make some changes to how we have the profile set up. So now that we have that installed, you can come to the Review menu hover over profiles and select the BB Toolsets profile. And you can see it's made some changes to the layout. This puts the tool chest, files, thumbnails, bookmarks, and sets over on the left-hand side. Moves all of the drawing and markup tools over to the right-hand side. And when you select an object, the properties will be over here as well. And then down at the bottom is where we keep the markup list. I hope these tools make your job easier and more efficient. And as a reminder, you can go to bbtoolsets.com to purchase these toolsets.